I've just supported the Prime Minister in voting in Parliament to call a general election for June the 8th. I think the Prime Minister is absolutely right to want that clear, strong leadership that a mandate for a general election gives the Prime Minister to take forward our country in a positive way, to be a globally outlooking country as we do those negotiations with our partners across Europe in delivering our exiting of the European Union, delivering on the referendum that people voted for just last year. I intend to stand as a Conservative candidate for Great Yarmouth and I'll be asking for your vote to continue the work that I started when you first elected me in 2010. We've delivered a dramatic fall in unemployment in Great Yarmouth. We've seen tens of millions of pounds of new investment into protecting our defences from flooding. And there is more coming. We've seen hundreds of millions of pounds confirmed to come in to improve our road infrastructure in Norfolk. Tens of millions of that coming into Great Yarmouth with the Vauxhall roundabout, improving Gapton Hall roundabout, Halfridge roundabout, and the roads in Gorston as well, including new roads that we have already delivered. We've also secured the money to do the work to start looking at delivering the Third River Crossing, an important piece of infrastructure we need. And there is so much more. And there is so much more yet to be done. I want to see everybody having an opportunity of a good job, getting the skill set to take the advantage of the growth in the energy and engineering industry in Great Yarmouth and so much more, so that we have an area that works for everyone. I also think nationally it's important we have a government that is working to deliver for this country for everybody to create good growing employment as we've seen record levels of employment in this country with strong leadership with a clear government as we go through brexit and get the best deal for great britain so i hope you'll vote for me i hope you'll vote for me and theresa may in a conservative government on june the 8th